The fundamental purpose of housing is to provide shelter, a basic necessity of life, just like air or water. It's a place where people protect themselves from the wind and rain, a place where they raise families and mingle with their neighbours, a place where communities are formed. Why then do we allow investors to profit from housing, driving up prices and ultimately hurting society as a whole? Unfortunately, a fundamental contradiction lies beneath our housing policy debate. Housing cannot be both a good investment and be affordable. These two objectives are mutually exclusive. As a society, we can either choose to have affordable housing, which helps the majority of Australians, or we can continue to treat housing as an investment, which only helps the wealthy minority. Trying to have both is counterproductive and doomed to failure. Housing stress is a real thing in Australia. Many households, including myself, are paying a large portion of our income in rent or mortgage repayments. Australia's house price per capita income has skyrocketed in recent years. This, in my opinion, is a national disgrace. I think the only way to fix this is to outlaw housing investment. Treating housing as an investment, along with a tax system that actively encourages it, has not helped the majority of Australians. Inflated house prices favour the wealthy, and not the average Aussie battler. Some of you might be saying, but hang on, there's other necessities in life that we allow investment in, for example food and clothing. And yes, you're right, but food and clothing are cheap. Sure, you can go out to fancy restaurants every week and blow all your money, or you can buy designer clothing to try to impress your friends, but that's a choice and not a necessity. The cost of housing, on the other hand, is something you can't really control. Sure, you could move to some tiny town in the middle of nowhere and buy a cheap house, but then you have the issue of not being able to find a job, or living too far away from essential services such as hospitals and supermarkets. So what can we do about it? How can we stop housing from being an investment, or at the very least, discourage it? Well, for starters, we should do away with any government policy that treats housing as an investment. Things like negative gearing or capital gains tax discounts. Currently, if an investor buys a property and finds out that their investment repayments and expenses are greater than their rental return, they can claim that as a loss and reduce their tax bill significantly. I think that's wrong. Taxpayer money shouldn't support this. Regular home buyers don't get any tax incentives when they buy their own home. Why should property investors? Secondly, we should outlaw any foreign property investment. If foreign people want to get a visa and move to Australia, buying a home in the process, well that's fine. But they shouldn't be allowed to buy a property in Australia and just leave it empty. Thirdly, and this is a big one, banks and financial institutions should not be allowed to loan out money to residential property investors. This creates unfair competition between investors and owner-occupiers, driving up prices. To an investor, a property is just a source of money. To a homeowner, it's a place to live and raise a family. Why we allow this unfair competition is beyond me. That's not to say that investors shouldn't be allowed to buy houses, it's just that they shouldn't be allowed to get a loan to do it. If they have the spare cash, fine. But if they choose to buy a second house and lose money on the rent, or property expenses or whatever, it certainly shouldn't be the taxpayer's job to cover their losses. What's the chances of any of these measures being implemented anytime soon? Slim to nil. Why? Because many of our currently elected leaders are property investors themselves. They don't want to see any rules change that would hurt their financial assets. They like things just the way they are. So, dear listener, the only way we can fix housing affordability is to stop voting in the same old rich people. Housing should not be an investment. Housing should be a fundamental human right. And guess what? It is actually a human right. Article 25 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights states, Everyone has the right to a standard of living adequate for the health and well-being of himself and of his family, including food, clothing, and housing. Yes, housing is a human right, not something to be profited from. As I said in the title, housing investment should be banned.